Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. We're joined now by Don Robertson, Tiffany Chris, and Amy Hedstrom with the Race Against Breast Cancer. Good morning. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. And so the a 5K run walk is just around the corner on October 1st. Yeah, mm -hmm. tell us about the event for people that don't know about it yet. So the event, um, like you said, is on October the 1st. It starts at 9 o'clock. Um, you are able to register online at rabctopeka.org until Wednesday. After that, then you'll have to register in person or just come to the event mm -hmm. and um, you know spend some time around. We'll have some free food. Um, you're also able to register your dog for ten dollars um, and then we have a lot of silent auction items yes. that Amy can tell you about. Yes, yes. please tell us about these uh, silent auction items. I know we got some good stuff in here. I see Chiefs, mm -hmm. I see some outdoor type of things. Yes. What's going on? We have on? such a variety of stuff this year. We've been working really hard on collecting stuff from local businesses and they've been so generous with us. Um, we've got handcrafted quilt, uh, Chiefs onesie, that's a baby oh, basket. Chiefs we onesie have. right yes. there. <laughs> And then a golf basket. Great Life has four passes. Okay. Let's four golf show that for the camera. In there. All right. And then a good Royals one, but there's so much more. These mm -hmm. are just couple that I brought. There's, yeah. I think 59 in there right now and they're still coming in. Any so. other highlights that you could think of that were that's been there's on the silent auction? Other sports stuff, lots of quilts, mm -hmm. um, some quilt hangers, lots of gift cards. Lots of gift yes. cards. Okay. So now sounds like a pretty good cards, pretty yeah. good range of stuff. I love this Chiefs um blanket and onesie yes. right there. That's you know perfect for the any the the the, the new Patrick Mahomes fans, yes. I would say. That that sounds great. And how, how can people find the silent auction? Where can they start when can they start bidding? They can start bidding now. It's been open for since the 15th. Okay. Um, they can get online to the Race Against Breast Cancer website or it's at 32auctions.com RABC 2022. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, and how long, do, how, when does the bidding close? It closes at 1030 on October 1st, mm -hmm. Saturday morning, um, so that we'll finish it during the race and people can pick up their items if they're at the race. And if they don't have to be at the race, I can contact them if they win something. And, and then come down and pick it up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you don't have to be present to win. Yeah. That, that's good. That's good. I, yeah, I always love a silent auction. I, I get in the bidding wars and mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes I just need that. Very competitive. So I can't, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check out what's going on, what your full list of items that's on sale there. And you know, with the fundraiser, why is it so important that to kind of raise money for a breast cancer awareness, if you will? Right. Well, this is our major fundraiser and the Race Against Breast Cancer is passionate about seeing breast cancer caught in its early stages when it's most treatable. We've been around for 31 years and 100% uh, of our donations stay in Northeast Kansas to pay for no-cost mammograms and also provide breast health education to area clinics. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're very passionate about breast health in our community. Men and women can get breast cancer and we really do want to see it caught early. Definitely. Yeah, like I said, we, early in the show, we just mentioned that the studies said people that are just sitting down a lot, it kind of incre increases your risk. Oh, yeah, I think of the 5K run is the perfect solution for this thing. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Our 5K run walk event gives us an opportunity to provide education to the community about the importance mm -hmm. of what we do, but also to recognize, recognize breast cancer survivors such as Tiffany and Amy. Uh, we have a gift for registered participants who are breast cancer survivors, and we also uh, want to give their families an opportunity to gather around them and support them in a fun, active event. You can walk, you can run it. The majority of our participants walk it. The trail out at Tinman Circle is a very easy trail to, to walk or run, uh, but most of all, the funds that are raised remain in Northeast mm -hmm. Kansas to pay for those diagnostic and screening mammograms and ultrasounds that can potentially save someone's life. That's, that's, that's wonderful. I, I absolutely love that. And for any Anything you'd like to say to the women out there that may, maybe are hesitant, hesitant to go to the doctors to get checked up or maybe they just don't realize that they have signs all of a sudden like, oh no, I should go to the hospital and get checked. They need to go. Um, if you have any uh, feeling or something that's just not right, you need to go get it checked mm -hmm. out just for peace of mind and, and just to make sure that you are catching things early. That is the main um, thing of the breast cancer is catching it early. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, that's good. That's good to know. That's great advice right there. Yeah. Don't don't be ashamed of going to going to the doctors and checking it out. Advocate for yourself. De yes. Definitely. If you feel something's wrong, stick mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining us today. And for more information, you can go to rabctopeka.org.